let's face it everybody wants video right now basically you're gonna make a really cool video out of the photos today what i want to do is i want to go through exactly step by step how i create these so that i can save you a whole bunch of times but if you haven't done so already jump over and watch the apps that you will definitely need okay because it'll save you a whole bunch of time choose wisely try not to go down the rabbit hole too much first of all you're obviously going to need to get your content in okay um and obviously there are multiple places that you can get um images videos and royalty free music without having to break the bank or without crying a little bit because you sit there for 20 minutes doing the same shot over and over again okay so there are places where you can get these you don't necessarily have to do them yourself but don't be afraid to try it yourself because i have been known to spend more time looking for a shot than it would be if I just created it. You put your music in, you put your pictures in and then we go from there. So the big thing I wanna kinda of see now is how easy is it to apply and edit. So obviously we've got, we can obviously trim it. We can speed it up if we wanna give it that nice little bit of a curveball. You can also check those things. Yeah, that can definitely be ramped up. It has animations. So you can do some really cool transitions and things like that, which I really, really like as well. I quite like the zoom out. Yeah, that works. Because the biggest thing I find with this is if you have like lots of different shots and you can kind of do those jump cuts by showing it from different perspectives and getting all the different shots, it, it does give you that kind of being able to kind of tweak. Yeah, drag and swap is ever so easy. We do have a watermark. Um, I'm very interested to see. You can reverse it, replace it, crop it, animate it, speed. Okay. So if I then want to export it. So yeah, you can choose your frame rates, you can choose your format. I'm going to do mine in MP4. It tells me my size so I can worry about how much memory I've got. Split it, pre-cut. Let's have a quick look at that. 